right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, got something I want to work on today, but let's do a little throwback from or to yesterday. Willow had one of her friends come over to help her rebuild the carburetor on her motorcycle, and he helped us uh, get a important part of the project done on Rusty. And I want to do a little throwback and show you uh, what we did. So as you can see, after yesterday's little crane operation, we got the body frame in here and I have it temporarily mounted to um, the track frame for mock-up. There's going to be some cutting, welding, adding, removing, all that good stuff uh, before we strip this down and paint it. But uh, as far as everything goes, um, talk about lining up perfectly, like everything is sitting on here the way it should. And um, I have some ideas in mind as to what I'm going to add, what I'm going to remove and move forward with this project. But you're going to have to wait and see as I build this, how things are going to go along. Because I have a variety of options in mind right now, but we're going to get started with some of the thoughts, visions, and ideas that I have. And then we'll go from there as I move along. So today, I obviously have three tires missing on each side. I think we're gonna button those up. I'm waiting on a delivery from the post office that should be here any minute. <clears throat> but I did get three of the missing castle nuts that I needed. And I got all of the caps. I hope these are the right size because this is the second time I've ordered them. I, I held them up to the original ones and they look similar. So hopefully we can get those installed and then we'll move forward from there. So let's get started.
Well, guys, the track frame is done. However, you see something a little bit off right here. So that torsion axle, for whatever reason, sits up a little bit higher than all the other ones. But in reality, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Uh, both sides are that way, too. At first, I thought it was bound up. But uh, that's not the case. It just, for whatever reason, that one wants to sit, uh, you know, quarter inch, half an inch higher than all the other ones. But once I get some weight on the track frame, I think it'll they'll all even out. I think it's probably the simple fact that that one was either used a lot more or it wasn't used as much. Or it's a different model or something's different about it. But it'll still work just fine the way I see it. This is turning out awesome. I went through, as you saw in the time lapse there, and I greased, or I didn't grease, but I um, put all of the uh, axle nuts on. I just got the last three axle nuts today here at about 3 o'clock from the Postal Service. And uh, now we just wait for all of the sealant to uh, cure on all the axle caps. Then I can pump those spindles full of grease. And I bought the axle caps that have the inspection cover on them so that I could uh, take a look at inside there and not blow the seals out by putting too much grease in them. So that's going to end up being more of a serviceability issue than anything else. But I mean, look at this. This turned out awesome. Some of the wheels don't line up exactly perfect with each other, but I kind of expected that. This being such an old um, build. Uh, you know from the 60s or the 80s one of the two um, there's a mix and match of axles and whatnot but I think everything's gonna work out just fine in the end once we get uh, the entire snowcat assembled but yeah this is great if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up if you learned anything or you just had some fun with me, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Click that bell icon down in the lower right hand corner of your screen above the description box. If you want to see videos that I'm uploading, get notifications for them. But other than that guys, I think that's going to be it for today. As always. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.